since it's like a nice March day in Jersey today, we're gonna do an oil change, which is way overdue on the second gen. We're still dirty from work, so I might as well just get it done today. And then we'll run through. I got some new tires for it, and I'm gonna try to convince myself not to sell it, but I don't know if it'll work. So, so yeah, we're gonna get started on that. This is my 24 valve Cummins I've had for like a few years now. It's not like, nothing's crazy down to it, just like the normal 24 valve stuff. Fast 150, lift pump. Somebody put injectors in it at one point. Uh, air filter mod, some kind of shitty leveling kit or lift kit, and just some other stuff. But we originally like planned to use it as like a tow rig, but turns out we don't really tow anything. In my opinion, with how much I use it, I'd probably get better use out of like a Tacoma or a Forerunner. Jesus Christ, dude, who the fuck put this on? Well, that's an issue. Jesus Christ. Pretty much if you're watching out there, drain plug shouldn't be that tight. I don't know what's up with that. Now I'm a little bit afraid. Whatever, gonna keep it rolling. All right, got the oil drain out of the pin. Now I'm uh, horrified that the oil filter isn't that tight. OEM filter, Mopar, Cummins, whatever, part number. MO285 for the oil filter. Big thing with diesels is you kinda gotta check the oil, make sure there's no fuel or anything in it. Or pull it, because that's definitely not good. Yeah, we'll just make sure you're uh like I don't know how this turned into a how to change your oil, but always make sure your O-ring comes off of your filter. Then I'm gonna prime this filter. I'm kinda wondering what I'm gonna call this video now. Filters back in, tighten everything down, and then we'll uh, fill it up. I don't know, it could take like 12, 12 quarts, 11 quarts. It's like not the right funnel, but it's gonna have to work because we're working with slim, slim pickings here. So that's pretty much it for this, uh, I guess, how to change oil in a 24 valve Cummins slash update video. But yeah, just let me know in the comments if you think I should like, keep it, or would you like to see, like, you know, I don't really care what you guys think that much, but I think I'm leaning towards a Tacoma or a Forerunner for like some overlanding stuff, but I don't know. I'll keep making videos as I do stuff to it. I did get 33s for it, I'm waiting for two more, and then I'll get those mounted this weekend. And then uh, maybe I'll do like a driving around video because it is kind of fun to drive being a stick shift and all. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. We just got to 235, which is like nothing, but I don't know, it's pretty sick to me. So yeah, just keep watching, keep subscribing, keep liking, and uh, see you guys in the next one.